So I'm here tonight at the VSO with Jennifer Schwears, former student of mine. And uh, Jennifer, you're you're here in Vancouver. It's a it's a great city, and uh, it took you some some time to find your way, find your path. And uh, can you tell uh, tell us a little bit about that uh, journey? Uh, well, through university, I had a path that I was pursuing in communications, finance, right. and after that time, I uh, was for many years working in the industry of finance and trading right. and uh, in 2008 I found myself out of work as many people in that industry did. Yeah, and, uh, a meltdown, right? Yeah, we were and I found that uh, it was a really good opportunity for me to take some time and really think about what it is that I had interests in and I was really feeling that photography was something that I had always had a passion um, had even had talent, if you will, and uh, so I told my parents that that was what I intended to pursue. Was and and, my and they own. didn't they didn't react very well to that, as I recall. And 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 you you kind of said, look, I, I'd like to be an entrepreneur, and and I guess they they didn't really encourage you. I, I would say, right? Well, they are far more practical, right. and they uh, didn't see that. Um, the progression and didn't didn't right. see the um, didn't didn't feel it in the same didn't know the passion that I had for it and the belief because, that I had in myself. You know, in entrepreneurship, Jennifer, as you know, you can fix just about anything, but you can't fix passion. If you're passionate about what you do, probably in anything. I mean, we saw it tonight with the VSO in the School of Music here. If you're passionate, you're probably going to be good at what you do. It's uh, much easier if you really love what you do because it's um, you're willing to spend hours on it and it doesn't feel like time has passed at all. Now, you, how did you tell us about uh, how you found your first client? That's that's a great story. I told my parents that I was starting my business, and within a few days, less than a week, I had built my website and I created an advertisement on Facebook for right. my wedding photography. And the key there was that I used the, the demographic marketing and the status of engaged. And so I was able So when you change from single to engaged, right? And so wow. that, that market, I was able to directly target right. my advertisement would show up for only those people that fit that criteria. So thanks to Mark Zuckerberg, I guess. Thank you very much. And you, somehow or other, you transformed uh, Urban Lens Photography into a uh, downtown uh, Vancouver condo. Is that right? I did. I uh, After four years of having my own yeah. business, I was able to purchase, uh, use the money that I had made as a down payment to buy my first condo. Wow, that's exciting. Now, um, if you were going to give a uh, young entrepreneur some some advice, uh, you know, based on the experience you've had now, it's, it's been almost 10 years, uh, what would that advice be? I wish I could speak to myself when I was younger, so right. if anyone can hear this and, and use those words, um, I would really focus on what it is that, that you feel passionate about. I had concerns uh, when I was looking for a career, I wanted to, to make a lot of money and that was something that I pursued for the wrong reasons okay. and I, I, I am still grateful for my background in finance because it has taught me a lot of good money management but what you ultimately want to do is work and do what you love. Yeah. Now it, it, it strikes me that today you know, people who are all about the money generally don't have any and people who are about doing you know great things building insanely great products and services have it all I mean is that kind of your experience too? follow your passion follow your heart I think the if you are doing what you love the money will come naturally because you're going to put in the time and the effort right. and as I say it'll feel like time hasn't passed at all because you're just loving what, what you're doing well thank you very much Jennifer thank you very much Bruce